Hello, welcome to this yoga sequence. So today we're going to stay floor based, so we're going to do some work on our core, uh, working on our back and thighs, um, but we're going to stay floor based, okay, and then some stretches at the end. Alright, so come and lay on your back, come and settle and relax in Shavasana, we'll have a few moments there. And as always, just do what feels comfortable for you today. So letting the ground hold you so you can sink and release. A sense of surrendering and letting go. Drawing your mind towards your breath. A nice, relaxed, comfortable breath. With each inhale, have a sense of drawing in that which is good for you. A sense of being nourished. And as you exhale, a sense of letting go of everything that no longer serves you. Just let it go with the out breath. as much as you can keeping your mind to your breath throughout your practice as always just do what feels right for you today rest whenever you need finish early if you need whatever works for you it's absolutely perfect I'd like you to hug your knees into your chest bring your hands around your knees and circling them so big circles keeping the knees together circling them together and feeling that nice massage through your back. And then change direction. Stay at centre. Each exhale, squeeze your knees in towards you. Inhale, release away a little. Repeating with your breath. Exhale, squeeze in. Inhale, release. And we'll stay squeezed in this time. Bring your knees apart so you're drawing them towards your shoulders. And relaxing here. Bring your knees back together. So with your knees together, we're going to do our core exercise where we exhale, squeeze both knees in. Inhale, bring your arms overhead and extend your right leg away from you. Exhale, bring your knee back, hands around both and squeeze in. Inhale, arms and left leg away. Exhale, bring it back and squeeze. Repeating like this, alternating or if your core is strong enough, you can do both legs together. So long as this puts absolutely no pressure in your back. So this is all about working the core, no pressure in the back. So you can do either alternate legs. If you want to be a bit stronger, you could do right leg, left leg, and then both legs. A bit stronger still, you could do right, both legs, left, both legs. So find the combination that works for you. Remember, you can rest at any time.
Let's do one more. And then keep the knees in towards your chest. Bring your knees apart, hug them down towards your shoulders and just relax. Place your feet to the ground, hip width apart, heels close in towards your buttocks. We're going to work in bridge pose now. So have your arms alongside you, palms facing down, close in to your hips. Make sure your feet are hip width apart. So we're going to inhale here, exhale round your spine, so tuck your bottom under and then peel your spine up off your mat, lifting into bridge pose. Hold as you inhale and then exhale round your spine as you lower back down, trying to land vertebra by vertebra. Relax here as you inhale. Exhale round the spine as you peel up into bridge. Hold as you inhale. Exhale round your spine as you lower down. Repeating like this, we're inhaling where we are. And then exhale as we move up and down. Next time you lift up, hold the position. Now I want you to interlock your hands underneath you and then tuck your shoulders under one at a time, lifting your hips and your chest as high as you can, holding here, feel your thighs and buttocks are strong. And then release your hands, gently lower down. Just relax a couple of breaths. And then place your right foot on your left knee. Bring your left thigh in towards you as so you bring your hands through and around your left thigh or your shin, wherever you reach comfortably. If your hands don't reach around your thigh, you can wrap a scarf around your thigh and then hold the ends of the scarf or strap or whatever you've got. So gently squeezing in your left thigh, relaxing into your stretch. Check your shoulders, see if they need to relax a bit more. Face soft. And with each exhale, squeeze in a little bit more. Inhale, relax away slightly. Repeating with your breath. Place your left foot to the ground. Right foot down. Bring your left foot onto your right knee and draw your thigh in towards you, hands through and around your thigh or your shin or holding a scarf, whatever works for you and then relaxing here. Shoulder soft. With each exhale, squeeze in a little bit more. Inhale, release away slightly. And then place your right foot down, left foot down. 
both legs straight to the ground, bring your arms over your head, point your toes, have that lovely big stretch through the whole front body. So feel fingertips stretching to the wall behind you, toes reaching to the wall ahead of you. Big, big stretch. And then push your heels away, flexing the feet and stretching through the whole of the back of the body. And relax. Bring your arms alongside you, bend your knees and then lift your bottom, place your hands underneath your lower back, so palms facing down. So your hands are under the bit of your back that don't, doesn't normally reach the ground, so it's supporting your lower back. Straighten both legs down to the ground. Point your toes away. We're going to do the next exercise twice. It's quite a strong one. We're going to use that breath I introduced you to where you exhale, draw the belly in. So exhale, exhale, exhale as we're in the position. So we're going to do two rounds. Either right leg first round, left leg second round, or both legs both rounds, which is considerably stronger, okay? So lift just your right foot off the ground a few inches and lift your head to look down to your toes, or if you're comfortable to, both feet lifted. And then that breath of fire, the rapid inhale, exhale, draw the belly in as you exhale. Deep inhale and exhale down. Stay where you are, but just relax a few breaths. Second round, so point your toes away. Lift just your left foot or both feet. Lift your head to look down to your toes and then the breath of fire. Deep inhale and exhale down and just relax. Release your hands, have a few breaths in Shavasana. And then hug your knees into your chest. Hands around as you rock with those lovely circles. And change direction. Stay at centre. Each exhale, squeeze in. Inhale, release a little. Stay squeezed in, bring your knees apart towards your shoulders and relax here. Relax your feet down and then roll over so coming to lay on your front. Okay, so laying on our front we're going to come to rest position which is bringing your right hand onto your left hand, chin on your right hand. Bring your feet about mat width apart and then let your heels drop inwards towards each other. So this is our rest position when we're working on our front. So just settling here. And then we'll lift up into Sphinx Pose to so bring your feet towards each other. We'll have elbows underneath the shoulders, rolling the shoulders back and down, encouraging your chest forward, toes pointing straight back, legs and buttocks relaxed. Nice deep breaths. And then I want you 
you to bring your hands underneath your shoulders and we're going to lift the hands off the ground and then lift your upper body as high as you can with your hands up then place your hands down when you need to and continue lifting up into your cobra slowly start to come back down easing down when you feel you can support yourself lift your hands off the ground and continue to lower the upper body, upper body all the way down keeping the hands up now start to lift the upper body when you need to bring your hands down continue to lift up into cobra slowly coming down when you feel you can support yourself lift your hands and continue to lower the upper body and repeat like this so the hands are off the ground all the time that they can and then to the ground all the time that you need Next time you're lifted with your hands off the ground, I want you to stay here. Then bring your hands down, lift up into Cobra and stay here so your elbows may well be bent, that's fine, wherever you're comfortable. Legs and buttocks relax. And then we'll come up onto our knees and sit back into child's poses. Let your body settle here. Shoulders relax. You can have your arms forward or alongside you, whichever you prefer. And then stretch your arms forward. So we're going to do an upper body strengthening exercise now. So we're going to keep our elbows off the ground, that's for sure, and your nose as close to the ground as you can. So it may well, let me show you what we're looking for eventually. So nose to the ground, keep the elbows up, slide through, so nose to the ground all the way. So you're laying on your front, and then the toughest bit, that first bit coming back, to child's pose. So it may well look more like this with your nose as close to the ground as you can. You may well not come all the way through and then come back. So wherever you are that's fine working to your level. The next time you come through, stay there and we'll come back to rest position. Right hand on left hand, feet apart, heels dropping in, chin on your hands, just relaxing here. And bring your feet towards each other, bring your arms alongside you, interlock your hands, roll your shoulders back, lift your hands as high as they will, and then we're going to lift and lower the upper body, keeping the hands up at all times, so moving smoothly as you lift and lower. Stay lifted this time and gently down, come back to rest position, right hand on left hand, chin on your right hand, feet apart, heels dropping in.
and we'll lift back up into either Sphinx or Cobra, whichever feels right for you today. So elbows under your shoulders, or hands under your shoulders. So we're rolling the shoulders back and down as much as we can. Try not to have your shoulders sort of hugging your ears. Roll them down and back. Legs and buttocks relaxed. And we'll settle back into child's pose. Just relaxing here. Keep your arms forward this time. And then come up to cat position, so onto your hands and knees. And we'll move the spine with the breath. Inhale, tailbone and chin up. Exhale, tucking under. And then sit back into child's pose, bring your arms alongside you and just relax here. And then gently lift up to kneeling. Good, and we'll flex the spine here. So inhale, lift your chest. Exhale, round your spine, moving as far as you can in each of these two positions. And we'll stay at centre. Good, so now stretch your legs forward, coming to sit. Lifting through the spine. We're going to do some feet exercises, working the feet and legs. So we're going to move the feet with the breath, inhaling, pointing the toes. Exhale, flex your feet, pushing the heels away. Then moving smoothly with your breath. And we'll keep them pointed this time. And I want you to tighten the legs, so feel you're drawing the back of your knees down towards your mat. And then flex your feet. Now even if you can lift your heels off the ground, I want you to keep them down as you flex the feet and still drawing the back of your knees downward as much as you can. Keep your feet flexed and we'll curl the toes away, really scrunch the toes. And relax. Keeping your legs straight, we're going to turn at the hips and turn at the ankles as we turn the soles of the feet towards each other and then really press the feet in as much as you can. So you're pushing one foot into the other. And relax. And then we'll circle the feet. And change direction. And relax. Draw your right foot in towards you. Hands either side of your left leg. Inhale as you lift through the spine. Exhale, encourage upper body forward. Inhale as you lift. Exhale forward, repeating with your breath. And we'll stay down this time. So walk your hands to wherever you reach comfortably. Let your head drop. Inhale, stretch your arms up to the sky. Exhale, widen down. And relax your right leg away. Bring your left foot in. Bring your fingers either side of your right leg. Inhale, lift through the spine. 
exhale encourage your upper body forward inhale as you lift and repeat and we'll stay forward this time relaxing your hands wherever they reach comfortably let your head drop shoulders soft Inhale, stretch your arms to the sky. Exhale, arms wide and down. And relax your left leg away. Just give the legs a bit of a jiggle. And circle the feet. And change. And relax. Bring your fingertips behind you. Lift through the front body. So you're lifting your chest up. Either drop your chin down towards your chest or if it's comfortable for your neck, let your head drop all the way back. But no discomfort in the neck. Bring your head back to centre. Inhale, stretch your arms to the sky. Exhale, reach forward, place your hands wherever they reach along your legs and let your upper body settle here so easing into your position let your head drop inhale stretch your arms to the sky exhale wide and down Lovely, well done. So come and lay in Shavasana, so come and settle on your mat. Letting your whole body sink and release into the ground beneath you. Know that the ground is strong and stable, so it will support you, so you can surrender completely to this position. Just letting go. Check your shoulders are soft. Face relaxed. Letting your breath become more and more subtle. Very gentle, soft breath. And just being with the stillness and the silence for a few minutes.
stay longer if you wish. If you're ready to come up, start to gently rock your head. Move your fingers and toes. And then we'll stretch the arms over the head. Big stretch. Point your toes. Flex your feet. And relax. Bring your knees into your chest. Hands around as you rock with circles. Change direction. And stay at centre. Gently come up to sit. Lovely. Well done. I do hope you enjoyed that and I look forward to our next session together. Namaste.